starting lineup for Maslin. Quarterback, number 12, 6'2", 200 pounds, senior, Ben Hines. At tailback, number 27, 6'4", 250 pound junior, Christian Morgan. At fullback, number 22, 5'11", 175 pound junior, Jairus DeFaco. At flanker, number 8, 160 pound senior, Brian Bear. At split end, number 1. He's a 5'7", 135 pound senior, Devin Williams. At tight end, number 97, 245 pound, 6'3", senior, Chris Morton. At right tackle, number 72, 6'5", 275 pound, senior, Ben Mann. As the Maslin Tigers come out, led by Elijah Blake and Devin Williams. Now for the Naperville defense, tackle number 64, Lee Smentek, he's a 6'3", 220 senior. Nose guard, number 72, Tom Weller, he's a 6'225 pound junior. Tackle, number 73, Mike Maroon, he's a 6'210 pound senior. Outside linebackers, number 2, Charles Turak, 6'490 pound senior. And number 34, Jason Noda. Jason is a... 6'2", 195 pound senior. Uh, inside linebackers, number 25, Mike Swinta, 5'11", 220 senior. And number 85, Walter Bucky, 6'1", 190 pound junior. Cornerbacks, number 9, DJ Johnson. DJ is a 5'10", 175 pound junior. And number 47, Charles Verdone, a 5'11", 180 pound senior. And your safeties, number 31, David Barnett, Six foot, 170 pound senior, and number 46, Ryan Richards, 5'11, 165 pound senior. Now we'll let's get ready. A, now let's take a time out for Maslin Public Library. Here's your kick. Number one, Devin we Williams returns in. It's off two to 20. Still on his feet. Then took him down around the 23-yard line. All right, so now the Masson offense will come out <clears throat> as they start the first drive this evening. Uh, big man to look out for for the <clears throat> defense is number 25. He's a team captain, Mike Suela. He's a 5'11", 220-pound senior. He is definitely Naperville's biggest threat on defense. Number 12, Ben Heim steps up, hands off to Christian Morgan. Ball carrier, Christian Morgan. Carries the ball for about three yards on a play. Maslin's front line is going to really have to step up tonight against the Naperville. Gain of three yards on the play. That's going to bring up second down, seven. Ball is under 26. And Hines comes up to receive the snap. Hand off to Christian Morgan. Gain on the play about three yards. Now let's go down to Heather Baker, who's down on the sidelines. Hi, I'm Heather Baker. I'm down here with the 1996 Paul Homecoming Queen, Joy McGuire. What are your feelings on the outcome? Right now, right now I'm just very happy. Nervous, but happy. Did you think you was going to win tonight? I had my doubts, and then I don't know. It was just, after they said Sandra Corey was the runner-up, I knew I had it. Well, thanks for coming out and answering the questions for us, okay? Back to you guys up there. Thank you, Heather, for that great interview with the homecoming queen. Uh, did you think she was going to win, Juwan, or were you had your heart set on another candidate? I had a feeling Joy McGuire would win it. She's a very nice young lady, and she has a lot of furring. That's going to bring up the fourth down. All right, fourth down now for Mass, and they will punt. In punt formation for the Tigers is number seven, Eric Lightfoot. Back, back to punt is number seven, Eric Lightfoot for the Maslin Tigers. For the Red Hawks. Almost punted as it's a short punt. Goes down about the 52-yard line. Excuse me, the 48. Very close. That was nearly blocked by the Naperville defense. Uh, you got to be more careful next time. Watch that end. So now Naperville will take over. Their uh, quarterback, Christian Pearson, he's uh, 
a very dangerous uh, quarterback. He's 6'1", 160-pound junior. He brings Naperville to the line. Kristen Pearson up to receive the snap. Number 34 is in motion. Handoff is to number nine, DJ Johnson, who is wrapped up around the 50-yard line. DJ so, Johnson is definitely Naperville's biggest threat. He's rushed for 655 yards so far this season, 11 TDs. I mean, he's averaging over six yards a carry. The center for the Red Hawks is number 60, John Walters. So far, both defenses are doing well against the run. It's 9.23 on the clock in the first quarter, second and eight. Drops back the pass. Good defense on the other side of the line. Pass is incomplete. He intended on the play for Nick Tolbert. Broken up Let's take a look at that replay. Pearson drops back looking for a receiver, but fortunately, great defense by the secondary by the Maslin Tigers. Tip that ball and make it incomplete. Third and eight on the 50 yard line for Naperville. As Pearson takes the snap, drops back again, has a receiver across the middle. Wide open, but drops it around the 18-yard line. So Maslin comes up with a break on the play. Now it's fourth and eight on the play. I believe Naperville will punt as Devin Williams comes in for the Maslin Tigers back deep to return the punt. Back deep for the Tigers, number one, Devin Williams. So far, it's a defensive game. Like I expected. What do you think about this first two series of the, the game? Well, right now, it's just typical between both of these teams. Uh, neither team has allowed more than 10 points average in the last six weeks. As you've seen, Devin get a vicious hit put on him right there, returning the punt. So, nine minutes left in the first quarter. As the Maslin Tigers will take over around the 22, the, I mean the 20-yard line. Naperville beat uh, a great uh, Wheaton Warrensville team, uh, who actually beat Naperville in the state championship last year by only one point. So it was quite a revenge game for him last year. Jared Stefanko on the carry, picks up about a yard before being brought down by the Naperville defense. Naperville currently ranked ninth in the state of Illinois. Mike Savela on the stop for the Red Hawks. Ben Hines gives the call to the Madison Tiger offense. Second down. Comes to the line of scrimmage. Long is on the 20. Takes it to Christian Morgan. Passing to. Pass complete to number 42, Dave Hodgson. I believe that is number 42, Dave Hodgson for the Maslin Tigers, From who slips around the 24-yard line. Brings up third down, third and five for the Tigers. The Dave's a 5'9", 185-pound junior. Just couldn't quite turn up the field in that play. This is a very... Cautious play for the Madison Tigers. They need this first down to set some momentum. It's Penn Hines. Interception. Throws an interception. Number 25. Mike Salvia grabs onto the ball for the interception for the Naperville. Mike is, hmm, let's take a look at that replay. Ben Himes rolls out, great block by the defensive line, but it's just intercepted by number 25, Mike Salvia. He is the big man for Naperville. He makes or breaks his team. I believe there was a flag on the play. It was against the Maslin Tigers face mask. After possession, first down, one ball. 
So that brings the ball down to the 12-yard line for the Naperville Blackhawks. First and 10 for the Red Hawks. Excuse me, Red Hawks. Football is on the 12-yard line. Juwan, I look for the run to DJ Johnson off the left side. Since that's their, uh, that's the big meat on the line for them. Instead, it's handed to the fullback, number 20, Joe Cherambolo. He's a 5'10", 170-pound junior. Joe Cherambolo, the ball carrier for the Red Hawks. There you get a good look at Joe. All right, Christian Pearson giving the play to the Neighborville offense. Second and eight on the 10-yard line. As Pearson comes up to receive the snap. Come on, snap count. Flags are down as the ball is caught over around the eight-yard line before That's going out of bounds. Flag is down. And the flag is against Naperville, offsides. I'd also like to mention tonight that uh, Eric Lightfoot and Casey Geyer coming back in as inside linebackers. They'll be alternating between Jared and uh, Bobby Short. We have illegal procedure on the offense. Second down. So we have a legal procedure on the offense. Still second down. Second down and 14 on the play. Second down, 13. Football is on the Tiger 15-yard line. This person comes up to receive the snap. Another long snap count as he Hands it off to his tailback, D.J. Johnson. D.J. Johnson the ball runs for about two yards on the play. Tackle on the play by Michael McGuire. Let's take a look at that replay. You see D.J. Johnson getting the handoff and uh, held up by the Masson Tiger <clears throat> defensive line. Uh, offensive line not giving D.J. much protection so far this evening. No, both line, both defensive lines are doing real good against the run tonight. We're going to have to see both of these teams go to the air a lot more than they usually do. Pearson steps up to the line. Have your receiver in motion. Back to pass. Intercepted by number four, Josh Kreider, now by the five-yard line. Nice defensive play by number four, Josh Kreider. That is the ninth pick so far this year for Maslin Tiger Secondary. They have uh, done their job definitely in 96. Josh Kreider is a six foot, 185 pound junior this year, doing an exceptionally job, well job back there on defense. First and 10 Tigers. Football is on the Tigers. Six, six minutes and 16 seconds left in the first quarter. Balls on the five yard line. Line, first and 10 for the Maston Tigers. Hand it off to Christian Morgan. Tries to bounce it outside, but has no room to run before the Naperville Red Hawks surround it. Tackle on the play by Jason Nolda. Tackle on the play by Jason Nolda. Jason is a 6'2", uh, 195-pound senior. Pick up of about two. You see a good look of Christian Morgan. For the Maston Tigers. Maslin does have a size, a size advantage on the lines, uh, outweighing the uh, Neverville defense at least by 20 pounds. Christian Morgan again being stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Christian Morgan, the ball carrier. Run. Let's take a look at that replay. As you can see, Christian Morgan gets the ball and just stood up by the Naperville defense. Third down. So now it'll be third down and long for Maslin as uh, they come to the line. Third and eight. 
Ben Hines checking off. Rolls out. Nice blocking, but he ends up sacked down by the five-yard line. Mike Maslin's offense is going to have to do a better job at blocking. Let's take a look at that replay. Ben Himes rolls out. Not much protection there, and he is tackled by the Naperville defense. I believe that was uh, the tackle number 64, Lee Smentek. So Eric Lightfoot stands at the back of his end zone. Number 4th and 10 on the play, the punt. And 82, the top Little snap, almost blocked once again. Fair catch caught on the 42-yard line, I believe. And now Naperville will take over. Not much happening offensively so far this evening. Four minutes and 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Ball on the 36, first and 10 for Naperville Redhawks. As Christian Pearson comes up to the line, scrimmage. And the receiver in motion. Ball handed off up the middle. Run on the play for about seven yards. Let's take a look at that replay. Pearson handing off, and uh, the line definitely held up for him. He got about maybe five or six yards on the carry. Uh, Mass Tiger defense was pushed back on that play. That's about the longest run in the ball game so far. Pearson. Hits for the snap. Hands off again up the middle. It's number 20. Joe Trimbolo, the ball carrier. Joe Trimbolo. Carried the ball for about on the play by Rico two yards Anderson. on the play. Joe getting a lot of action so far. That's his third carry. Third on the yard. And he seems awesome. to be injured. Flipping around the world as he gets back in the huddle. This person steps to the line. Takes it right up the middle. I believe he did not have enough for the first thing. Christian Pearson. Maslin nose guard number 32, Rico Pearson, uh, keeping Christian An time out for a from uh, getting very far. <laughs> 241 left in the first quarter. Third and one on their 26 yards. Excuse me, fourth and one. So far this evening, Juwan, uh, the ball's been basically on the Tiger side of the field. Yes, Masson's going to have to step up their tempo in this game if they plan on winning. The defense is doing an outstanding job so far upholding the Naperville's offense. The offense is going to have to come out and do a, a better job on the offensive line and move the ball down the field. As Naperville comes to a line, the crowd is electrified. Look for another quarterback sneak. Tiger line is stacked with both inside linebackers. George Fangio probably saw it. Pitch. And he has enough for the first down. Being taken out around the 16-yard line. Ran out of bounds on the play by Josh Kreider, number four. First down, Red Hawks. So now it'll be first down Red Hawks at the 16-yard line. Right, once again, they're in the red zone. Maslin had a good defensive play last time down here. My number four, Josh Kreider, had an interception. See what they can do this time. This Christian person comes up to the center. Hands off to number nine. DJ Johnson. 
Brought down by number 32, Rico Pearson at nose guard for the Madison Tigers. Tackle on the play by Rico Pearson. As you see, number 71, Milo McGuire coming back into the game. Here's a look at some of the Madison Tiger cheerleaders. This number 72, Ben Mass comes off the field. Person up to take the snap. Hand off the middle to his fullback. Game will play about four yards. Tackle by Bob Short. Maslin's defense has been on the field for a lot so far in this first quarter, Mike. What do you think Maslin's defense or offense are going to have to do to change this ball game around? Well, either the defense is going to have to stop the running of D.J. Johnson, or uh, we're going to be in for quite a game tonight. As Naperville takes a timeout. Timeout, Red Hawks. Now let's take this timeout for First Merit Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tiger Swing Band invites no everyone. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium at Naperville. Red Hawks has taken a timeout. One on one left in the first quarter. Third and five, the ball's on the 12 yard line. Massless defense comes back onto the field. If you're Massless coaches, you at least want your defense to stop them right here and let them settle for a field goal because you can always come back with a touchdown and be up by four. So let's see what Massless defense will do. As Christian Persons comes up to the line of scrimmage to take the snap, has one back in the backfield. Has a post to the corner, it's overthrown, incomplete. incomplete. Covered from the play with number five, Dusty Limbach for the Maslin Tigers. Covering on the play for the Tigers. Excuse me, Dusty yeah, Dusty Limbach on the play. So Neighborville will do it again. So far the night, DJ Pearson not getting much yardage on the uh, handoffs. Yes, Maslin's defense is doing a great job on the front front line. As Naperville is ready to kick a field goal. Kick is up. up and good. So Naperville with 52 seconds left in the first quarter jumps on the board first with three points. Masson now going to have to come back and answer that score. Let's take this timeout for Masson Triple A. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. As Naperville is ready to kick off again. Back deep for the Tigers. Number one, Devin Williams. And number 47, Elijah Blake. Deep for the Tigers, number one, Devin Williams. Kicking for Naperville, number 34, Bradley Brewer. Number 47, Elijah Blake. Bradley's a 6'1", 180-pound senior. 34, Jason. He's got Dunn. quarter leg on him, too. Kick off for the Red Hawks. Kick is up. Devin Williams catches it on his one-yard line. Devin Williams. Devin cuts it up. Devin Williams then tackles Williams. down by the 25-yard line. Nice return by Devin Williams. As there is a player down on the 37-yard line for Maslin. Injury timeout. Let's take this timeout for sports stuff. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, where it is 3-0 in favor of Naperville. Maslin will start off first 10 at their own 25-yard line after the great kickoff by Devin Williams. The injured, the injured player on that last play was John Quarter. Hope he'll be all right. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. As Ben Himes takes his snap, drops back the pass to number one, Devin Williams. And we thought there'd be a penalty flag as the defender on the play wrapped down Devin Williams late 
I personally was looking for a uh, late hit or uh, something like that, but uh, fortunately, I guess the official didn't see it. As you get a good look at Devin Williams right there, the 5'7", 135-pound senior. Ben Hines takes the snap. Hands off to Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan has a scene. Christian Morgan, the ball carrier. Picks up a gain of about four, five yards on the play. Christian doing an excellent job this year, gaining 731 yards and 13 TDs so far. He's one of the uh, premier backs in Stark County. Christian Morgan is a great back. We can look forward to seeing him a lot more next year as well as this year. Third down for the Tigers and six. Football is on the 29 yard line. Third and six for the Tigers, ball on the 29 yard line. As the clock is ticking down to five seconds. The Tigers just let the time run out in the first quarter as Naperville is up three to nothing over the Masson Tigers. Now let's take this time out for East of Chicago Pizza. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. As we're getting ready to start the second quarter, Naperville Red Hawks are up three to nothing over the Maston Tigers. So far, this is a great game going here. Naperville finally got down there, but the defenses on both sides are doing it very well, holding their running game. What do you think about that, Mike? Oh, yes, key players so far have been defensive players, especially number 25. Mike Silvuela and uh, number 22, Jared Stefanko, making big plays on both sides of the ball. Also stepping up for the Mavs on defense is number four, Josh Kreider, who had an early interception in the first quarter. Well, that's definitely a key play. Otherwise, uh, we'd be looking at a different score, possibly 7-10, uh, nothing. Fumble on the play. Fumble. I believe Naperville has recovered it. That's Maslin's 18th fumble on the season so far, and they have lost 10 of them. So uh, that's definitely a big problem for the Maslin Tiger offense. Ma Maslin Tiger offense having a lot of troubles with the ball this year. As Mike said, that is their 18th fumble. They're not going to be able to do that against this Naperville team. But they expect to win. Person steps up, pitches the ball to number nine, and he is brought down for a loss of two on the play. Let's take a look at that replay. DJ Johnson, the ball carrier for the Red Hawks. Hand off to DJ Johnson. He tried to fake out a mass defender, but uh, unfortunately, just the protection was not there, and that was uh, Josh Kreider on the play. Josh Kreider is having an outstanding game so far. The interception and a nice Second loss, down. tackle for a loss so far in this game. If Masson expected to win this game, the defense is going to have to stop bleeding right here. As you see, a draw to number nine, DJ Johnson, DJ who runs Johnson. for about five yards on the play. DJ averaging over just a little over uh, six yards a game. Let's take a look at that replay. Great protection up the middle by the uh, Naperville offensive line, and uh, DJ picks up about five yards on the play. I do believe that's his longest run so far this season. Tackle on the last play by Jerry Stefanko. Maslin defenders jump, but get back in time. As you hear the long snap count. And the pass is deflected by number 75, Milo McGuire. Milo is a captain this year for the Maslin Tigers. He is also a 6'4", 255-pound senior, so he is a, uh, a big problem for offensive lines. Let's take a look at the replay. Pearson. Checking off, drops back, tries to get it to, I believe, DJ Johnson, but it is tipped. And uh, definitely a great play by Milo. So Naperville brings their field goal team back on. Time. Go ahead, Mike. That would be about a 41-yard attempt. 
and it is wide, no good. 10-29 left in the second quarter as the Naperville offense has just missed the field goal. So great job by Maslin's defense again, holding them to a field goal try. But unfortunately this time for Naperville, they have missed it. That's what Maslin defense has to do. They have to stop Naperville from scoring because uh, Naperville can take any of the smallest opportunity and make a big points. Now Maslin comes to the line, Ben Himes in the center. Ben Himes hands it off to Jared Stefanko. Jared Stefanko is up on his feet for about three yards. Real tough earned yards by Jared Stefanko. Jared, a two-way player. He is a fullback and also an inside linebacker this season. Ten, ten minutes and nine seconds left in the second quarter as the ball is on the 24-yard line, second and six for the Maslin Tigers. Haverville uh, brought quite a crowd up this evening as the uh, visitor stands are full. Ben Hines under center. Hands off to Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan cuts back for a gain of three yards on the play. Christian Morgan, the ball carrier. Yep. So Masson's off, offensive line has to be more powerful if they want to see Christian Morgan out there like he usually is for the long run. Number 72, Tom Weller, six foot, 225 pound junior on the play. As you get a good look at Ben Hines right there, Masson's quarterback, stepping up to the line of scrimmage. Ben's stats may not always show it, but he is definitely one of the key players in the Madison offense. That's pitched to Christian Morgan around the right side for the first down. Just about the 34-yard line, I believe. I believe that is Maslin's first first downer tonight. Coming nine minutes and four seconds in the second quarter. Maslin's going to really have to step up this possession. And Hines drives back to pass. He has a receiver. Number one, Devin Williams, which is incomplete. That was tipped by, uh, I believe, the outside linebacker. That was uh, Jason Nauta, number 34. So now second and 10 for Masson as they come up to the line at the 34-yard line. Behind steps up, take the snap. Pitches to Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan cuts back, still on his feet. Took him down about the 39-yard line. Let's take a look at that replay. Uh, ben Himes, nice flip to Christian Morgan. He gets good protection on the outside from the left tackle. I do believe that play was uh, made possible by number 78, Paul Savino. 6'4", 280 pounds, and he's also one of the power lifters for Maslin. 8-13 left in the second quarter, 35 on the 39-yard line for the Maslin Tigers. It's Ben Hine who steps up to the center. Ben Hines back to the pass. Has a receiver, Devin Williams, another incomplete pass. And it is incomplete. Naperville thought they had the interception, but uh, it hit the ground first. Let's take a look at that replay. Ben Hines rolls behind uh, Christian Morgan and it is tipped up in the air after a bounce off the chest of Devin Williams. And uh, luckily for the Tigers, it was not intercepted. So now Eric Lightfoot comes out for the third time tonight to uh, punt once again. Devil Williams is going to start having to hold on to that ball if he wants to be a factor in this masculine game tonight. Devin is one of the lead receivers uh, for Maslin with 14 catches and a TD. He averages about 9.6 yards a reception. As the punt is blocked for the second time by Naperville. 
Well, we knew it would happen eventually. Uh, They've been really close the first uh, two times, and they'd actually slightly tipped it the second time around. But this time it was a full block, and a um, nice play by the Naperville defense. So now Maslin's defense comes out around it. 19-yard line to start off. Timeout, Maslin. Let's take this timeout for Stincados Auto Repair and Quality Computers. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. Ask the fullback, Joe Cheramble. Tackle on the play. Just ran the ball up the middle for two yards. Tackle on play number 22, Jared Stefanko for the Maston Tigers. Haverville dividing the hand of do these both between uh, Joe Trimbolo and uh, DJ Johnson, which is uh, fairly rare for Naperville since uh, DJ is their star running back. Carson under center. Takes the handoff, has a screen to his fullback. To Joe Trimbolo. Tackled by Josh Kreider. Gain on the play. About three yards. And he comes up limping once again, and he's uh, slightly walking off. I do believe he may have a hamstring problem. Hard to tell. Also might be an ankle injury. One thing is for sure, though, he does definitely have some problems running this evening. There you see the Massa Tigers scoreboard, 6.36 left to go. In the second quarter. That's number 20, does go off the off to the side of the field for Naperville. Full house backfield for Naperville. I believe they're going to run. Tip the passes to number nine. DJ Johnson. DJ Johnson has tackled on a play by Henry Williams. Let's take a look at that replay. Full house backfield, flips to D.J. Johnson. Uh, not much protection on the right side, and uh, Tiger defense is right there, three or four jerseys. Fourth and six, as Naperville will get set to kick another field goal. This will be their third attempt for tonight. First one being made, the second one wide to the right side. This one's up and good. Six minutes and 11 seconds left in the second quarter as Naperville jumps up to a 6-0 lead over the Masson Tigers. Let's take this time out for Buell, Brian, and Brian Insurance. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium as Naperville is setting off the kickoff. The Devil Williams and number one and number 47, Elijah Blake. Number 34, Jason Mulder. Jason Nolo is set to kick it off for the uh, Red Hawks. This and offense is going to have to really do something on this possession if they want to still be a factor in this game. Although Naperville has dominated the game so far this evening, uh, Tigers are not out of it. A touchdown will tie it up, and an extra point will put us ahead by uh, one. As they swift kick it down to the 20. Number 86, Tony Danzi takes the ball across 30, up to the 35 before being brought down by the Naperville Red Hawks. Nice return by number 86, Tony Danzi. Naperville coming off an emotional get win against uh, Wheaton Warrensville South last week. Uh, Wheaton Warrensville was ranked seventh in the nation before the loss to Naperville, and now Naperville is here looking to knock off the number six team in the nation, and uh, don't believe anybody has done that in back-to-back -back weeks. As Ben Hines comes to center, Christian Morgan and Jared Stefanko back in the backfield. Pitch to Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan tries to turn it up, but kids now do it. Has lost a six on the play. Maslin's front line cannot have that tonight if they want to win this ball game. Defensive line in Naperville 
uh, definitely dominating the game. Uh, now let's go to Heather Baker down on the sideline. I'm down here with three, three of the Massive Tiger cheerleaders. Your guys' names are? Erin, Jimsy, Laura. And what is your outlook on tonight's game? I think that we're going to win because we're the best around here and there's nobody that can beat us. I just think we're going to kick butt because we're all that. Basically. Yeah, we're number one. Number one, Maslin. Thanks back to you guys. Thank you, Heather, for that sideline report. Maslin has another busted up play. Maslin's really going to have to get their stuff together here in the second quarter as there's five minutes left to go in the second. Official on the field. There, I believe Maslin will want to score before going into halftime to change this momentum around. Maslin's definitely going to have to start passing if they uh, want to move the ball. The running game is definitely going nowhere. Maslin has trends to the white. Then is back the pass has receiver but incomplete broken up by number 25 on the play and it's once again the inside linebacker Mike Sawela and again Maslin is going to have to punt in punt formation number seven Eric Lightfoot for Maslin Eric Lightfoot coming on for the fourth time this evening had his last Lightfoot punt blocked by Naperville for the Red Hawks and as you can see, he drops back maybe and two or three more yards. Eric gets this one off. He's took him around the 40-yard line. Ty Gerbeck, the ball carrier. Four minutes and 33 seconds left in the second quarter. First and 10 on the 43-yard line for Naperville. As Maslin's defense is get it, did a good job so far, although they are down 6-0. A receiver in motion. Hands off to number nine, DJ Johnson, and he's taken down for a four-yard loss by the Madison Tigers defense. Tackle by Josh Hill, Josh Kreider. Let's take a look at that replay. And CJ Johnson getting the ball and is forced to go outside and nowhere to go there is more Madison Tiger defenders uh, tackling. 14, ball is up the 39-yard line. That field cam is a great view. Back to pass. Has a receiver wide open. Nice hit by number seven, Eric Lightfoot. But unfortunately, the pass was caught. And he's down at the 30-yard line. First, first and 10 for Naperville Redhawks. Christian Pearson, a great pass. Let's take a look at that replay. He uh, throws pretty deep, and you see perfect play by Naperville and a hard hit by the Tiger DBs, but unfortunately, uh, they didn't draw the ball loose. So now first down for Naperville. 341 left in the second quarter. As Pearson takes the snap, hands off to number nine, DJ Johnson, and it's taken down at the 28-yard line. There you see number uh, 74 Tackle for Naperville. Thomas Parrish, I believe that is. He's a junior, six Eight foot, 200 pounds for down. Naperville. Ball was on an excellent 28-yard line. Second and eight on the 28-yard line as they pitch to DJ Johnson again. Around the corner, the gets Johnson. the 10-yard line. Touchdown, DJ Johnson for Naperville Redhawks. Beautiful run by DJ Johnson. DJ Johnson getting an awful lot of support by his uh, line, especially the left guard and left tackle, number 76 and 71, Ben Gabe and Brian Burde.
field goal is up. And it's good. 2.53 left in the second quarter as Naperville goes up 13 to nothing over the Tigers. Let's take this time out for home appliance and triggered flag. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium where Naperville gets set to kick it off after their touchdown by DJ Johnson. That was his 12th TD of the year and uh, unfortunately now Naperville is up. Number 47, Elijah Blake takes the kick, hits the gap, and then taken down at the 35-yard line. Flags on the play. Flag is down. Elijah Blake, the uh, second string for uh, the Tigers uh, behind Christian Morgan. 2.47 left in the second quarter. As Marshall, Ma excuse me, as Maslin and Star at the 40-yard line. I uh, take that back. The penalty is against Maslin holding. If Maslin is expected to go anywhere, they're going to have to stop having all these penalties and, and get some kind of offense going. They're just going nowhere so far this evening. I don't even feel that they have gotten past the 50 yard line. So Maslin will start on their 23 yard line. Ben Hines up the snap. Hands it off to number 22, Jared Stefanko. And again, the run is not there. Jared trying to take it right, but uh, nothing there is. The protection crumbles. 229 left in the second quarter. Second and eight, ball on the 25 yard line. Football is on the 25 yard line. Ben steps back to pass to number one, Devin Williams. Devin Williams with a great catch at the 30-yard line. Nice reception on the play by Devin Williams. The tackle was made by uh, Devin Garrett, the defensive back. Maslin goes into a power, power eye. Hands the ball off to Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan breaks out to the outside and gets over to the 36-yard line. And that's enough for the first down. That's one reason why Christian Morgan is so good at home. He has the ability to uh, cut left or right at any time, and the uh, artificial turf really helps him with that. Christian Margo Morgan, also a very powerful running back, can break a lot of tackles and very rarely fumbles the ball. As Ben Hines is back to pass again, has just overthrown Brian Bear around the 42-yard line. Masson in quite a strange position at the moment. They're down 13 points for the first time in the season. Uh, usually they're at least winning or uh, not not out by much in the second quarter. Yes, Maslin is being threatened of their undefeated season at this moment. As the score is 13 and nothing, a hundred, excuse me, a minute and 26 left in the second quarter. Second and 10, the ball's on the 37 yard line. And Hines back to pass again. Have his tight end, I believe. No, that is number eight, Brian Bear on the, on the catch. Let's take a look at the replay. Well, Let's we check that as Maslin takes a timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, the winning 50-50 ticket number tonight for the Maslin Tiger Swing Band is 281. Let's take this timeout for the Department of Human Services. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. As there's a minute and 10 left in the second quarter, third and four on the 43-yard line for the Maslin Tigers. We should play for Maslin. Uh, Last week against Walsh, they did a great job with third down conversions. Uh, they made uh, 6 of 11. So they're going to have to continue that tonight on third down. And Hines is on the center. Takes the snap. Delay to number 27, Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan, Christian Morgan taken down around the 
49-yard line, and that'll be enough for the first down. First down. Good run by Christian Morgan, breaking it the outside. He's just so quick, it's hard for anybody to catch up to him. Maslin now in their hurry-up offense. Getting Hines back to throw. Has Devin Williams wide open, but overthrown around the 40-yard line. 58 seconds left in the second quarter. Pressure by number 47, Charles Burdone. He's 5'11", 180-pound senior. Second down, Maslin. Second down, 10 yards to go on the 49-yard line for the Maslin Tigers. As Maslin's gonna have to hurry up and punch this in before halftime just to be on the board. And Hines back to throw. It's going deep for Devin Williams. Overthrown slightly. Naperville's uh, Masson's toughest opponent so far this season. Uh, it's interesting to see how Mass will handle it. 52 seconds left in the second quarter. So now it's third and 10 for the Masson Tigers on the 49 yard line. I believe if Masson does not complete this one, they will go for it on fourth. Yeah, Masson will have to try, but then again, you don't know. Masson doesn't want to risk anything else down there on their side of the, the field. As Ben Hines comes to take the snap, three wide outs. As you have Ben Hines running the ball across the 52. Down to the 49 yard line. Let's take a look at the replay. Ben Himes rolls to his right, has no receiver open on that side, so basically what he just does is he takes it. And uh, gets maybe seven yards. As Eric Lightfoot comes on for the fifth time this evening. So far, nothing working for the Maslin offense. As Eric Lightfoot is back to punt again. Letting the clock run down as much as possible. Might take a delay of game penalty. And that's and what they'll do. Waste as much time as possible so Naperville can do basically nothing when they get the ball back. Good move by Coach Rose. Three seconds left in the second quarter. As Maslin takes a delay of game to waste out time. The offense, down. So a five-yard penalty. But now Eric Lightfoot is ready to punt now. Good bounce from Maslin as it goes all the way down to the five yard line. No, wait, keeps going, four. And that's the end of the second quarter. Stay tuned for the Maslin Tiger Swing Band halftime show. Naperville looks pretty pumped up. So that's the end of the first half as Naperville is up 13 to nothing over the Maslin Tigers. We'll take this time out for WTIG Radio and stay tuned for the Mass and Tiger Swing Band Halftime Show. Ladies and gentlemen, once again for your halftime entertainment, we proudly present the greatest show in... Now they will kick off in Naperville. Matt Stanley set the kick. It's taken by the, about the five yard line. Down to the 20, to 30, 40, out at the 44 yard line. Taken down by Matt Stanley, the kicker. 
So great start so far by Naperville coming off the, the half. Immediately, once again, they are in great field position to uh, score. If Massillon had not made that tackle, I think uh, Naperville could have had six more points. Kristen Pearson steps up under center, hands it off to number nine, DJ Johnson, and he has nowhere to run. He's taken for a loss of one on the play. Great defensive pursuit on that play for the Massillon Tigers. The one, let's take a look at that replay. DJ Johnson uh, tries to cut it outside, uh, possibly tries to do a fake, but he slips and is brought down by maybe six or seven Massillon Tiger defenders. And that's really what Maslin needs. They only need one good play to spark a comeback. Get the uh, fans and themselves fired up and ready to go. That could have been it. Number 11, B.J. Burek on the tackle on that last play. We have a screen to the left side. And Maslin picks up on it. Naperville only gain four yards on the play. I'll bring up third down and seven for Niverville. That was a great job by the outside linebacker, Bill Condon on that play, picking up the screen. If the defense holds Niverville in this play, I look for uh, the momentum to possibly swing back to Maslin. It has not been there all night, but uh, possibly this could do it. Kristen Person steps up to the line of scrimmage as the, they're wide out on the receivers. He goes to an out pattern, which only picks up three yards before taken down by number four, Josh Pryder. So that brings up fourth down. Let's take a look at that replay. Pearson looks around, can't find anybody, tries his wide receiver who just falls down on the ball. He really could not go anywhere. And uh, Tiger defender making sure he does not get up. So Naperville, out the punt. On, first, on fourth down. Back deep, Devin Williams. Maslin came very close to blocking that punt as Devin Williams grabs the ball around the 22 yard line and he's taken down. Outstanding play by Nick Suela, the uh, inside linebacker, also on special teams. Uh, really prevented uh, Devin Williams from going anywhere. He just couldn't move. And that's very rare for Devin because he is a dangerous threat on uh, both kickoff and punt returns. Maslin hands it off to number 27, Christian Morgan. He's taken down for a one yard loss. If Masson is expected to go anywhere, they're going to have to almost abandon the uh, running game. Even though Christian is very explosive, it's just not working. The defensive line in Naperville has been very tough, despite the weight advantage to Masson's offensive line. I'm looking for the Masson Tigers to start their passing routine out here. Try to get something going for the Masson Tiger offense. Hands off to number 22, Jared Stefanko up the middle. And it's taken down for a three-yard game. Ben Himes has quite an arm on him. He can throw the ball when he has to. That's one of his special talents. Uh, on the opposite side, Massa's backup quarterback, uh, Danzy, he's more of a running quarterback. But Ben can throw the ball when he has to. Football is on the 25-yard line. Ben Himes comes up to the center. As Masson lines up in the power eye. Hands off to Christian Morgan. Christian takes the ball for a two-yard gain before being down. And now you... Let's take a look at that replay. Once again, handing off. And uh, the offensive line just does not handle the defense of Neighborville. So now, for the sixth time tonight, Eric Lightfoot will punt. His last punt, of course, a 50-yarder at the end of the second quarter. Uh, it looks to repeat in that. In time, group back, and back deep to the Red Hawks. Punt is up. Good punt by Eric Lightfoot. As it rolls past the 20-yard line, down to the 
about the 14 before being nailed down by the Madison Tigers. Great punt by Eric Lightfoot. He does it again. Uh, he's got a good leg on him, and he also plays uh, inside linebacker for defense. So Maskin's D is back on to the field again tonight. Snaperville takes over the ball at the 14-yard line. Kristen Pearson under center. Hands it off to number nine, D.J. Johnson. By, and it's tackled by number 30, Bill Condon, on the play. D.J. Johnson, the ball carrier. Tackled by Bill Condon. 8.04 left to go in the third quarter. Second and nine on the 15-yard line for Naperville. The receiving punt by Eric Lightfoot was 16 yards. The punt by Eric Lightfoot, we just found out, was a 68-yarder. So uh, that, that's quite a punt. That's NFL quality. Pearson under center. Pitches out to number nine, D.J. Johnson. D.J. Johnson in the ball carrier. Tackled by number 22, George Stefanko. Picks up about five on the play. I'm sure so far at this point, uh, the head coach of Naperville, Joe Bunge, is very pleased with the way his team's performed and kept the Mass Tiger fans and the offense out of this game so far. This is his loving season as head coach of the Red Hawks. Yeah, so far, Naperville's defense is really taking it to the Maslin offensive line tonight, which Maslin has really never seen that before. As Pearson steps up to the line and takes a snap, receivers in motion, hands it off to DJ Johnson. And I believe it's taken down a yard shy of the first. DJ Johnson tackled by Bill Condon. So Bill Condon in on the tackle. Uh, great play by Master Tiger defense. That's what we need to get the crowd into this. That's one thing that's really been a factor all season for the Tigers as the crowd has gotten into the games and really confused any team coming into here. It's a very special place, uh, Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, and uh, Masson needs to use that this evening. We need to get the crowd into the game. Naperville has the punt on fourth down and one. Devin Williams back deep. And again, almost punt, uh, oh, excuse me, almost blocked. And the ball is out on about the 15, excuse me, the 50-yard line. Six minutes and nine seconds is left in the third quarter. Great. As Maslin will take it over around the 50-yard line. Great field position for Maslin. This is a great start to uh, punch the ball into the end zone. And he has enough for the first down. Let's take a look at that replay. You see Ben Himes rolling to his left. Great protraction. He gets it to Hodgson who picks up maybe uh, 20, 22 yards on the pass. So that was a great uh, offensive play by Masson. They're now into Naperville territory. Let's see if they can make this one count. That's exactly what Masson needed on the first down play as Ben Hines comes to center. Hands off to Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan picks up about three yards before taking down. Tackle on the play by Mike Bamboo. Massel, of course, after uh, this week's game against Naperville, they'll uh, have Cincinnati Moeller in here next Saturday at 7.30, and uh, we'll battle them. After that, St. Vincent and then McKinley. Ben Hines steps up, hands off to number 22, Jared Stefanko. And Jared Stefanko is close to a first down. Now Mass is starting to make some penetration up the middle against Naperville. Uh, at the beginning of the game, I actually thought they'd cut it more outside, but they're making some room in the middle. First down, First down for the Massillon Tigers. Crowd now getting fired up and getting into this game for the first time tonight. Five, old, five minutes left in the third quarter. First and 10 on the 22-yard line. As Massillon is moving the ball. Hands off to Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan, Christian Morgan picks up about five yards on the play. Let's take a look at the field level camera replay. 
Going up the middle behind his center, uh, Paul Salvino. Tackled by Mike Silvela. Masson has his crowd behind him. It's Ben Hines set to take the snap. Hands off to Christian Morgan again. Christian Morgan, the ball carrier. Christian Morgan picks up two yards on the play. Christian really had nowhere to go on that play as the uh, line had uh, crumbled, but he really made something out of that. He got two or three yards maybe uh, just on his own. Mike Savela also on the tackle. One strength of Masson is their offensive line, but they really have not done much tonight. Uh, they need to get on the ball and uh, do what they do so well, block the Christian and Jared. Masson has a power eye in the backfield. Hands off to Christian Morgan. It's Christian Morgan is stopped for no gain on the play. Christian Morgan, the ball carrier. Tackled by Tom Weather. Christian seems pretty upset after that play. Once again, no protection there on the line, even though we had the two extra backs to block. Somehow, uh, Naperville got in there. 319 left in the third quarter, fourth and two on the 14-yard line. As Maslin is setting a power eye, hands it off. No, option play with Ben Hines. And I believe Maslin did not pick up the first down on that play. But it, yes, they did. Yes, they did, excuse me. That was a crucial play for Masson. They really needed that fourth down conversion and they got it. Let's take a look at that replay. Ben Himes fakes the handoff to Christian Morgan. Instead, carries the option and uh, gets the first down. Not something Ben Himes is really known for, the option, but uh, it counts. So first down inside the red zone for Masson. Hands off the number 33, Chris Childs up the middle. Chris Childs. Chris picks up about three yards on the play. Tackled by Walter Buckingham. And Mike Barbeau. Maslin's line is really going to have to step up right here down in their goal line and get, get this ball in the end zone. Naperville known for their defense. They only allow uh, eight and a half points a game. So uh, Maslin's got to make this one count if they expect to win this game. Option on the play. Pitch back. Touchdown by number 22, Jerry Stefanko. Maslin is up. Is down now 13 to 6. 217 left in the third quarter. Nice play by Ben Hines. Get rid of the ball at the last second. Beautiful option. Perfectly run by Maslin. That I don't think you got to run that any more perfectly. That's the drive that Maslin has been waiting for all night to develop. As Josh Holes is set to kick the extra point. Ball is up and good. 217 left in the third quarter. 13 to 7. Naperville over Maslin. Tigers. Let's take this time out for Howard's Tiger Rags and Leeds Towing. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium where the Tigers are set to kick off the Naperville after scoring the first points of the night. Well, the scoring drive has definitely sparked some uh, momentum, and it's a, definitely a brand new game for the Tigers. They have new life in the second half. Mas Excuse me, Maslin's only down by a touchdown. If they get their extra point, if they score, they will be up on Naperville by one point. So anything can happen from here on out in this game. Maslin. Very good in the second half. Uh, their defense has not allowed anybody to score in the second half this season. So that's definitely one of the strong points for the Tiger D. Carson is under the center. Hands off to number nine, DJ Johnson. Is step at the line of scrimmage. I believe on tackle on the play was number 75, Milo McGuire. There you see a good look at the Tiger defense. They're fired up and ready to go. There's Jerry Stanko and Bobby Short. 
Abel Bill in the huddle. And Christian Pearson will bring them alive. Takes the snap, drops back the pass. Has a receiver down deep and is complete. Beautiful pass by Christian seeing his wide receiver downfield and he threw it perfectly to prevent the DB from uh, making any attempt at the inter interception or the tip. Yeah, he threw it right over number five, Dusty Limbach's head where he cannot reach it and only the receiver could. Great pass by Christian Pearson. First and 10 for the Red Dogs. 128 left in the third quarter. First and 10, ball on the 48 as they pitch to number nine, DJ Johnson. And he picks up a guy in a five yards on the play. So far in this second half, DJ Johnson hasn't been picking up the yards that he has in the first. Well, yes, uh, you touched on a key point there, Juwan. Uh, DJ is, is definitely the heart of the Naperville offense. And uh, uh, Christian Pearson is not known to pass uh, a lot, but he's definitely done it tonight. He's He's gone for uh, 13 passes, only completed three of them, but still, he's quite active this evening. Person under center. Receiver in motion. Hands off to DJ Johnson. DJ Johnson. And stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Got the Nashville Tigers defense. Let's take a look at that replay. DJ Johnson getting the handoff. He has no protection up front. And uh, Tigers pushing him back into the backfield. Great play by the defense. They really need to shake off that great pass and uh, get back to business and stop Naperville. Eight, excuse me, 18 seconds left in the third quarter. Third and three. Ball on the 45-yard line. Big play for Maslin here. They need to stop Naperville so they can score once again and possibly go ahead. If not tied. Naperville winds out the defense with the wide receivers as we have a whistle. As that's the end of the third quarter with Naperville up 13 to 7 over the Maslin Tigers. Let's take this time off for Bob Horn, Prince Horn Realty, and 76 Express Week. It's time once again for the Vans and. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium as we are set to start the fourth quarter. 33 on the 45-yard line for Naperville. Hand off to number nine, DJ Johnson. I do not believe he got it. I think he was stopped DJ just short of the first down. That was a there crucial play for the Tigers. Down. First down for Naperville. So Naperville gets the first down by inches. Personally, I believe he got a good spot on that play. It did not look like he got three yards. But nevertheless, Tiger defense has to stop Naperville and keep him from scoring so they can possibly stay in this game. A moment ago, Chris Charles on the 33 steps in for the Tigers defense. A linebacker as Bobby Short went out with a shoulder injury. Fumble on the play. And number 33, Chris Childs jumps on it. At the 46-yard line, Chris Childs covers the fumble. That's the 11th fumble of the season that the Madison Tigers have forced this season. And uh, it couldn't have come in a more perfect time, Juwan. Yes, Madison needed something good to happen at this point in time. They got the turnover, and the momentum is now going their way. So let's see if they can punch it into the end zone once again. First and 10, Madison. The fans are now really pumped up, and uh, they want to see their Tigers going in the end zone. Maslin comes out with a power eye. Hands off to Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan up the middle. Gets to around the 50-yard line before being taken down by the Naperville defense. Tackle by Charles Berdoni. Tackle on the play by Charles Berdoni. Eight five yards on the play. Brings up the second down. Eleven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Second and five on the 49 for Mass and Tigers. As they are down 13 to seven. 
Hand off to Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan. Christian Morgan runs for about one yard on the play as it almost looked like he slipped in the backfield. Christian Morgan uh, getting a few yards on the play before forward progress. So now that'll be third down for the Tigers. Uh, they really need to convert this one, Jordan. Chris Child and Jerry Stefanko coming in for the Maston Tigers. Tigers bringing in the big backfield uh, to pick up the yardage for the first down. So far for Maston, Power Eye seems to be working for their running game. As of earlier, just the eye set wasn't really getting that much blocking off of it. And it seems like the extra fullback is picking up the block that wasn't being picked up earlier. As Christian gets the ball, and he runs for a first down as he's taken down around the 38-yard line. Nice run by Christian Morgan up the middle. Christian getting a good run, running by the defensive line of uh, Naperville, getting into their secondary. He picked up the first down, and uh, there you see some Tiger faithful. Number 42, Dave Hodgins checks into the ball game. Behind Hines on the center. Hodgins is in motion. Hands off to Christian Morgan. Christian with another run for about eight yards on the play. As he refused to be taken down at the end of the play. Nine thirty-three left in the fourth quarter. Second and two. Balls on the thirty-three yard line. I tell you, Juwan, and uh, tough and really tight games like this for Mass, and every play counts, especially in the fourth quarter. Uh, they need points, and they need them now. Got Himes on the center. Hands off to Christian Morgan again as he's trying to get around the end. He's taken down at the thirty-yard line. Tackle on the play by number 64. Third and two, ball on the 30 yard line. Masson's going to have to get this first down to try to do something. George Stefanko comes into the game. Most likely be the lead fullback. Crowd trying to get behind the Tigers. As there's a flag on the play. They may be uh, lining up in a neutral zone against Neighborville. And I believe it is. So that'll pick up for Maslin. First down after that penalty. As you had encroachment on, on Naperville, Red Hawks. Ball on the 19-yard line, first and 10 for the Maslin Tigers. Excuse me, that's the 24-yard line. Chris Childs on the on the run. Chris Childs, the ball carrier. That's about the 24-yard line. Uh, Maslin uh, needs to punch this one in. If if they don't, I believe it's all over. Chris Childs also going both ways this evening, as he's a. A real powerful running back. Second down, six. Eight minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Second and six as Ben Himes goes with the option and keeps it, gaining three yards on the play. Almost looked as if Ben Himes would have pitched that ball right there that number 22, Jared Stefanko, almost had end zone. Yeah, I believe you're right, Juwan. Ben Hines not known for his running. Uh, he just waited too long. If if he might have, it might have been tipped if he would have tipped it there. Flipped it. Ben Hines on the center. As it's third and two for the Maslin Tigers. Hands off to Christian Morgan. And Christian Morgan, I believe, has enough for the first down. Tigers slowly but surely moving this drive along. Uh, 
I believe they started from about the 48 yard line on the fumble for Naperville. So uh, if they can convert this into points, it's a great thing. Maslin's crowd is now pumped up as they are in the red zone now. Still in the power eye setting. Option. Number 22, Jerry Stefanko on the play. Let's go down to Heather Baker, who's on the sidelines. Hello. Hello, I'm down here with, what's your name? Joe Tiger, G.I. Joe, the team guy. And Joe Mitty, to those of you who know me from Maslin. As a football and basketball player, we all come here together to watch the Tigers. And we're doing a great thing right now. We're getting ready for the Tigers to go in for the score. Heather, are you ready to score? Go Tigers! Okay, back to you guys. Thank you for the interesting interview, Heather. Uh, that's another one of the Tiger faithful who is really pumped up tonight. Number 33, Chris Childs on the ball. Barry. I tell you, Juwan, one of the great things in living in Mass and there's the fans here. As there's an injured player on the field. An official timeout on the field. I believe that is number 33, Chris Childs. The attendance at tonight's ball game. And he's up. Limping. Must be an ankle injury. Tonight's attendance, 11,852 here Childs to see the game. The uh, quite a bit of Naperville people making the 500-mile trek across the country. Third and two for the Mass and Tigers. Ball on the four-yard line. 5.53 left in the fourth quarter. Full house backfield for Maslin. Christian Morgan, the ball carrier. Christian Morgan down around the one-yard line. First, first down for the Maslin Tigers. As you see Tiger fans on their feet cheering their team on. They're waiting for another score. Maslin Tigers line really got their stuff together for this drive. As Ben Hines goes over to the center. You have to wait for the call. And the ball is short. So it'll be second down and go for the Maslin Tigers as the clock ticks down to about five minutes in the fourth quarter. I feel another quarterback keeper like that or possibly an option will uh, punch it in the end zone for the Tigers. That's what he does. And there's a touchdown. touchdown. Ben Hines over the center for the touchdown. 447 left in the fourth quarter as Maslin steps in to tie the game 13-13. As Josh Holt comes on to attempt the extra point. This is a very crucial kick for Maslin. Uh, all tied up, but we still need the extra point. And the kick is up and it's good. Let's take this time out for East of Chicago Pizza and the Elms. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium as Matt Stanley gets ready to kick off after Ben Hines goes into the end zone with the quarterback keeper to put the Tigers up 14 to 13 in the fourth quarter. 4 47 left in the fourth quarter. to see, wait and see who has the ball. It's Masson. And Masson Tigers cover the ball on the 21-yard line. What you want, mistakes are very, very big in football, and Masson and Naperville have proved this with the two fumbles by Naperville. Masson's really cashed in on the first one. Let's see if they can do it on the second one, too. Masson's special team's doing a great job on that play. As Masson's offense gets ready to come back in, 
With 4.42 left in the fourth quarter. Masson up 14 to 13. Masson already in field goal range. Let's see if they can get a touchdown. I look for Masson to come back out in the power eye setting, which they do. With Christian Morgan. Excuse me, Elijah Blake in the backfield for Christian Morgan. And Elijah Blake takes it in for about four yards before taken down by the Naperville defense. Elijah Blake, so far this season, he's only had uh, 33 carries for 290 yards, so he's averaging almost nine yards a carry, which is uh, pretty good for your secondary back. As Elijah has good speed, good cut ability, and when he gets out to the outside, you better watch out, because he can't break him. Now Ben Hines brings out the Tigers. And once again, the power eye. Second and five on the 16 for Maslin. As Elijah Blake gets the ball. It runs fumble on the play. And they say he's down at the six yard line. So first and 10 for the Maslin Tigers. Well, like you said just moments ago, Juwan, he can break them and he just proved that. Elijah's going to have to hold on to that ball as that was a very scary moment for the Tiger coaches as Naperville could have recovered the ball again. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. First and six. As Maslin stays in the power setting. Fumble on the play. And the flag, I believe. I believe Maslin has recovered it. Tigers football. Let's check that fumble from two plays ago. We see uh, uh, Elijah break, breaking, breaking the play, and see, yes, the ball, the ground does cause the fumble, so uh, good call by the officials. Maslin, again, fortunately, <laughs> that they recovered the fumble down there on the six yard line. That could be a, a very crucial moment for the Maslin Tigers. They're living on the dangerous side, Juwan. As Ben takes the snap, gives it to, I believe, number 33, Chris Childs. He's down to about the one-yard line. Great run by Jared Stefanko. Tigers once again threatening the score in the fourth quarter. Uh, if you would have looked at the first half stats, you would have said all Naperville. But uh, coming out in the second half, the Tigers have done their job and uh, proved their ranking. As there's a timeout on the field by Naperville. As it was 31 for the Maslin Tigers. Coach Funds wants to talk about this. Now, let's take this timeout for the BW3. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium as Maslin is threatening the Naperville on a score down on the one yard line. I'd like to take this time to uh, compliment our excellent camera work by our field camera, Mike Concerned Cole, and our booth cameras, Nick Gore and Craig Mack. Also on the truck, our computer graphics man, Sam and Beth, and our directors, Mr. Sheets and Mr. Dewald. Also our field reporter, Heather Baker. Ben Hines on the center, hands it to Chris Childs on the play. Excuse me, Jared Stefanko. Sure, that the end zone. When it comes to both. Welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. As Maslin is now up 21 to 13 after a gutsy call by Jack Rose to go for it on fourth down. And Christian Morgan runs up the middle for the touchdown. Matt Stanley is getting set to kick. the Madison Tigers scoreboard. Kick is up. Caught around the 15-yard line. And he breaks to the 30 before being taken down by the Madison special team defenders. 
22 left in the fourth quarter. Maslin's up 21 and 13. So this is a crucial possession for the Naperville Redhawks as they kick into their two-minute offense. Now the Maslin Tiger defense, the game is solely in their hands, whether the Tigers win or lose. Pearson is back to throw. Has a receiver around the 48-yard line. It is complete. Once again, great throw by Christian Pearson. He's really on his game tonight. Maslin's defensive backs are really going to have to step up in, on this last possession. Coming in tonight's, tonight's game, uh, the Maslin Tiger secondary has only given up 544 total yards passing. And so they're really a pretty good squad. Just uh, Pearson's just finding the opening man, open man and throwing it to him. That's simple football. Number 11, B.J. Burek is into the ball game for the Maslin Tigers. As Naperville sets up into an eye, hands it to number nine, D.J. Johnson. Runs for about four yards on the play before being taken down by the Maslin defenders. Now let's go back to Heller Bakers down on the sidelines. I'm down here with the former Maslin Tiger football player. Your name is? Greg Paul. What is your impression on tonight's game so far? Well, they, it looks like they come out a little bit flat, maybe. Uh, the other team come out really excited, but uh, we kind of turned it around, and our conditioning, our weight program showing through, and uh, right now we're out there, we're playing tough. So I, I think we're going to get them. How do you think this year's team compares to, to your team? Oh, well, they, uh, they're playing really tough right now, and they got a good shot. You know, we gave it our try, and they're going to give it theirs this year, and, hey, I hope they get it. Okay, hey, thanks for having time to, to talk to us. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thank you, Heather, for another interesting interview. Uh, while we were gone, of course, Naperville completing a pass. And they're moving up field. They're doing their job. First the Tigers have to stop them. Excuse me. First and 10 on the 43-yard line for Naperville. As Maslin's defense is in a nickel. Handoff up the middle. Five yards on the play. A minute and 10 left in the fourth quarter. If Naperville gets it into the end zone, they still got to convert the two-point conversion to even tie it. Masson's linebacker's backing off. And the pass almost intercepted by the Masson Tigers, number five, Dusty Limbach. Another great pay play by Dusty Limbach as 51 seconds is left in the fourth quarter. Tiger drop them back in their nickel defense. Uh, they're going to let Mass, uh, they're going to let Naperville have the short passes, but uh, I do believe they will not allow a long one. Although those short passes can add up to a lot of yardage in a little amount of time. So Mass is going to have to be aware. Pearson back to throw. Has a receiver over the middle. Just took him down around the 29 yard line. Jason Excuse me, he was First taken down. Hurry up offense for Neighborville. At the 30 yard line. Quick drop. Gain of about three yards on the play. He got out of bounds on that last play, so the clock stops at 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Naperville is down on the 26-yard line now. Ball is on the maximum, 26-yard line. They are now in field goal range, but they'll need more than that if they expect to win this game. Here you see the massive cheerleaders firing up the crowd. Pearson back to throw, goes towards the end zone. Intercepted. That'll be a touchback by number seven, Eric Lightfoot. He is mauled by the Madison Tiger defensive squad. Great play. And I believe that puts the nail in the coffin for the Madison Tigers as when they come back, I believe they'll just take a knee and enjoy their victory. This is definitely a hard-fought victory for the Madison Tigers. They were down in uh 
but we couldn't count them out. They really came back in the second half, and uh, like I said before, they have not allowed a second half score all year. Now